A day after anti-government protests in Greece turned deadly, global markets are still reeling. Investors are losing confidence in the future of the Eurozone, and the demonstrations in Athens against draconian austerity measures have only served to highlight the worsening outlook. Those fears are prompting one market after another to withdraw huge amounts of capital from Greece and therefore from the Eurozone. In Asia, markets tumbled on concerns that Greece would struggle to repay the EU's massive bailout package agreed earlier this week. In Tokyo, stocks dived more than 3 percent. The euro also took a fresh pounding, falling to its lowest level against the dollar in more than a year. Under pressure to shore up the currency, the European Central Bank's governing council met in Lisbon on Thursday. The location was fitting. Many fear Portugal and neighbouring Spain could, like Greece, struggle to repay their huge public deficits. But ECB chief Jean-Claude Trichet said comparisons were unfounded. Portugal is not Greece. That's absolutely obvious when you look at the fears. He also insisted Greece would not default on its payments. Default is, for me, out of question. So it's as simple as that. For now, though, nervous investors around the world are saying otherwise.